What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Uncommon Cube Draft here on magicthenternet.yu-gi-oh slash uh, Metal Gear Solid. We're going to try to figure this cube draft out. This Uncommon Cube out. I don't know how we're going to do it. But we'll do it. Such draft. Much wow. Thank you. Mr. Bailey Sr., thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Reckless reckless Faith? I think you mean Waif. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This pack is actually pretty tricky. I don't know what to take here. Pyrokinesis. I would probably take Pyrokinesis over Reckless Waif. But I'd probably take Eldest Reborn over those. Eldest Reborn and... Uh, that Illusory Ambusher is pretty good. I like Eldest Reborn, though. Four to five color good stuff has been... Alright, I want to take Eldest Reborn. Wamagoyf. Did it not announce? I didn't see it come up. But either way, I appreciate it. For as long as you've been subbed. I appreciate it. I appreciate you, Wamagoyf. Look, it's not a sun kiss. It's actually probably an invisible 7-up. Yeah, that's weird. You can see space through my body now. Eternal Witness? Oh, I like Eternal Witness a lot. Guys, look, we're almost back up to 300. Oh, Border and Blord. <laughs> Lingering Souls is pretty good, too, actually. I like Lingering Souls, and I like Eternal Witness here. Yeah, I was just... Ewit getting back this is really where my head was at. I don't know. It could have been... Oh, you, oh yeah, you're right. Flying is OP. Dang it. What's one Void Beast Tracker? In his battlefield, search up for a creature card with Death Touch, Hexproof Reach, or Trample, and reveal it. Put it on top? Can't even go in my hand. Llama Goyf, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Man, who saw that coming? I kind of like Urban Evolution here. Are we going back to our Sultai roots? I would take the dual land, but I don't like red. I would rather take this. Yeah, I like Urban Evolution here. I want to draw cards. Ooh, now we get to play Baleful Strix. Seems good. I like Ranging Raptors, too. Every, every Urban Evolution is also everything I want to be as well. I want to take the Sultai cards and just play all the Sultai lands that we get. That's what we're going to do. Na 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 Oh boy, Rexage is actually probably OP in this cube. I have felt that there are multiple enchantments and artifacts that you really want answers for. I like my red lands, but it doesn't really fix. It kind of fixes, I guess. It just fixes for the both two lands. Best name for a band from a card that isn't a metal band. Oh my god, that's not a that's not a question I could just answer off the top of my head because there's like thirty thousand choices. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Also, it's called Sultai, not Bug. Can we uh, use the correct terminology? Can we use the correct branding terminology? She's got the look. Let's make sure we're on brand here when we use the, the terms. I 
Uh, June rent got completed, and now we're on July rent. Hence why, uh... Yeah, I mean, like, it's almost, it's almost June now, so hopefully the June rent is paid, right? It's, it's, it's March, it's May 28th. It's not like it was that big of a... And Crossing Grip. Red card, red card, red green card, red card, red land. Alright, well... That's a thing. We'll grip it. Eternal Witness <laughs> is a Christian band. Gee, that's great. That's gas. This is a dual land. I'm going to take this Sandstep Citadel. That's two of our three. Oh, there it is. There it is. Card is gas. All right, this is it. Now we're just done. <laughs> okay, so the red was definitely open here. People do not want to be red. Do you have any hopes for the course at 2019? Not really. Not really. Whatever, this guy's fine. It's not great. We're probably not playing Awakener Druid. I'm gonna take the only card that we can actually play here. Thank you. Gutter sniping, 14 months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while, buddy. Look at these red cards, man. I have like a red pepper flake in my mouth, so I'm trying to get it. I apologize, it's weird. And that's when you guys are subbing? That's fantastic. I subbed while he was trying to get a red pepper flake out from his mouth. Got it. The Mike Hypothesis. Thank you so much for the sub, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Two ninety seven, did we just go down? We went down from like two ninety eight. That's fantastic. Three subs? We're going down. I literally, it's the most infuriating thing ever. I don't know how it works. I'm going to take this Signet. I think it's better than Sir the Sand Supreme Will. It's probably not better than Tusker, but I think it's more relevant in our deck. Gutter sniping. How about it's noticed that you have been unnoticed? Huh? Red Pepper Flex Subtrain. I'm in. I'm in. It's definitely Signet. I just want the fixing. Whenever Enchanted Player attacks... Whenever a player attacks Enchanted Player with one or more creatures, the attacking player may create a tap 2-2 two, two zombie. Oh, wow. So I, I chant myself. Whenever a player attacks me with one or more creatures... Oh, the attacking player. Okay, so I'll choose them. Whenever I attack them with one or more creatures, the attacking player may create a 2-2... Two, two, that's pretty good. It's probably not as good as Jiraga Tree Speaker, though. Is that true? Actually, Curse seems insane. It almost seems better than Jiraga Tree Speaker. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Why would he lie? That's a really weird thing to say you're going to be honest about. Well, we didn't. I didn't think he was going to lie. Yeah, this card seems insane. If I attack with even one dude, I get a zombie? Yes, please. 
Oh, Simic Signet? And a Marsh Casualties? And a Thieving Magpie? And a Thunderstaff? And a Harmonize? And an Elephant Guide? He's just going to say it with all these cards. It's unbelievable. I want to take Simic Signet here. I want as much fixing as possible so I don't have to worry about colors. And it's a Signet. Signets are always great. You guys remember when we were on stream together and I got that red pepper flake out of my mouth? God, memories, right? Those were the days. Golgari Charm was also good. I apologize for not mentioning it. That was rude to Golgari Charm. Flake Squad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I already went over how the drink is invisible because it's a uh, seven up. So it, like, I can you can see the you can see space through me. It's fantastic. Oh, I like a river hoopoo, hoopo, hoopy. Oh, I like a factor fiction even better though. Good lord, factor fiction, schmack their schmiction. Oh boy. I think it's factor fiction, guys. I don't even think it's close. I mean, it's close. Let's be real, it's close. One Memorial to Red Pepper Flake, but Kerwin, you are my favorite, buddy. I love you to death. That's fantastic. Well, you're on in the background because I've been working, but I just. Oh, okay, that's fair. Well, that's fair. I appreciate being in the background. And I mean that sincerely. Like, that's cool if you guys just uh, put me on in the background just to hang out. Like, it feels like we're hanging out, you know? Edifice was probably better than Hopo, but I, it's not better than Fact or Fiction. <laughs> what does this guy do? Whenever it's attacks in and block, draw a card. So they either take two to block it or they we draw a card. That ain't bad. I like Elder, but I almost like Raised by Wolves better. This guy's good, though. I think it's Elder. You're right. So we're obviously uh, base green, splashing these other colors. This is also a dual land for us, which is pretty sweet. Thundering Spineback was MVP for our opponent yesterday. Uh, Crow's Hand Tusker, pretty good. Is Tusker just better than Necropolis here? I mean, probably not. I don't like all these tap lands, but we, I do like going turn two Signet, turn three, three drop into tap land, which is pretty okay. That's a nice little curve there. Eh, we'll take the land. Flake Squad Fist Bump. <laughs> Oh my god. You guys are ridiculous. I feel like all these the cube decks are like EDH. They're all commander decks, right? Durable handicraft, grassland. This pack is not great. Not a big Whisper Silk Cloak fan. Can't be blocked is pretty good, though. Whatever. I don't think there's anything better than that, to be honest with you. Maybe it's fine. Maybe I'm undervaluing it. I mean, that is definitely a possibility, considering our... Uh, 
What was I going to say? Considering our record? I don't know what I was going to say there. Kona Flame. That's pretty good. It's just Turtle Changeling. God. I can't stand it. I'm going to take this Outcast guy. Oh, Tusker came back. That's pretty that's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's easily the best card in this pack. Also, now we got Tuscard Captain and Ridge Scale Tusker. Double Tusker? Dubs Tusks? Tusks out, boy. Yeah, I don't want to splash for a fourth color. I feel like that's gotten us into trouble more times than not. Uh, I want to take the Rally Shift. It's just a card that's fine. There are some there are some creatures you just can't deal with, and this card is fine at dealing with them. If you could travel back in time, what food would you eat? It's an interesting question. Because I feel like any food I could eat in the past is either worse or you know, um, repeatable today. Like, I could, you could just make it, right? I don't understand your question, Kerwit. Oh, I don't eat a lot of meat, so I could care less about eating extinct species. So, that's weird. I think the concept, like, like, so let's be, we're going to have this conversation again, and I hate having, I hate having the food conversation on stream, because it gets really weird sometimes. I don't eat a lot of meat. I eat some meat, but I don't eat a lot of meat. And the idea of meat, even considering the meat I have, kind of weirds me out. So that's the end of that. Oh, Raised by Wolves. So, I think we're all the only green person at this table, because we're getting, like, every green card back. Oh, see, this guy's even good. I wanted this guy in the deck, because it's great. Don't think about meat, just eat it. I try not to do that because I do think about it, and it's, I don't know, that's thats a really weird way to live your life. Well, we didn't open a Karn again, guys. We did open another Onsara. No, just kidding. This is a different. This is a different draft, guys. I'm just joking with you. I'm just joshing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing right now. Um, Seaside Citadel. Then we have all three. We have the blue black. We have the black green, and then we have the blue green. We got all of them. And then we still have a splash for white and red. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think it's Air Elemental. I don't think it's Arbor Back Stomper. Could be actually go for the throat. <laughs> Did Frank get rid of the flank command? Fantastic. I don't feel like we need an Arbor. I don't feel like we need another five drop here. Go for it. The throat, that is. Yeah, I think go for the throat's probably stronger than the the, the fixing land. I bet we can get a fixing another another fixing land. Hey, we're back up to two two ninety eight. I don't know how it happened because I don't think anyone subbed since the fact that we were on. Oh look, see we did. We got another one. Hugh, 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 Hugh. Um All right, let's look at our options. No, no, no. No, I don't care about you. No. Yeah, I'll just take Fixing Land. Seems good. Oh, 
We don't have that much removal. We have these two. Uh, this destroys an enchantment. But that's not removal. So we actually have, like, no removal whatsoever. I could care less. I think Kite Sail's... I don't like Kite Sail. I'm going to just say it. I think it's bad. It's very easy to get rid of. And I don't care about it. I think it's a stupid idiot. I don't care about your 1-2 body. I don't. I just want you to go away. Just leave me alone so I can stop hearing about other people telling me about your stupid Kite Sail face. What's the, what was the flyer? There was a flyer in that pack? Was it any good? Whenever I think about traveling back in time, I imagine just making fun of people for their primitive technology. Apparently, I'm a jerk. <laughs> well, you know, I didn't want to say anything. I think it's either Baloth Null or Druid's familiar. I like Baloth Null here, though. I also do like Gargantua. I don't like having to trigger Riddle Form. That's annoying to me. Oh, Kite Sail's a flyer? That's a 1-2 flyer. That's not winning any games. Please. Please. I'm going to take Big Papa Nulls. Well, this pack is absolutely horrendous for us. Sprite Noble, I guess. Oh, God. Memorial to Folly. Oh, God. Tranquil and Celestia Signet. So we do have options as far as uh, splashing those whites go. I do think it is Signet, most likely. I don't really want another land that comes into play tapped. Ugh. Not excited about it. <sighs> Big Game Hunter seems good. I don't like to see Rex Arc in here just because I don't think it has anything to, like, combo with. It's just literally a 1-4 that taps the thing. I like Servant. I like Ambition's cost. We have a lot of ways to draw cards, right? Strix draws us a card. Eternal Witness gets us back a card. You have my Elder is card advantage. This is card advantage. These are both card advantage. Um, These are both card advantage. This is Yeah, I don't think we need any more card advantage. We do need more removal. So I'm just going to take the Big Game Hunter because... Sure. It's either Big Game Hunter or Servant of the Conduit. And we have three Signets. I'm probably not going to play Celestia Signet. Everything else seems okay. Like, even if we get uh, Curse of Shallow Graves out and just have Whisper Silk Cloak on one dude, I don't like that this is Shroud and not Hexproof. That's my biggest issue, but I don't, I don't know if it matters really that much. Foul Orchard. Okay. Okay. Excuse me. This guy's pretty good. Target creature gains flying until end of turn. Please don't unban twin. Please never unban twin. I think the the Mistfire add up is is a little better. Like giving our Bailoth Null or like a Thundering Spine back flying every turn is pretty good. I want to take this guy. This guy's a flyer. Oh, <gasps> oh, that's exciting. Was there a curse in that pack? What was the curse? I actually didn't see it. I must have missed it. Also, I don't know how efficiently, how um, how frequently we're going to have an island in play. I think it's just Teamer Sabertooth. Return another guy. If you do, it gets indestructible. This is actually very hard to deal with. Plus, we can bounce Eternal Witness. We can bounce Reclamation Sage. Teamer Sabertooth is really strong. Vivid Grove or a Jade Mage. Or more Crud Banshee. Hmm. It might just be Vivid Grove here. Like, we have 23 cards. I don't think I want to play a double black guy. We, we already have big big game hunter. I'm just going to take Vivid Grove here. Howlgeist is not actually terrible. It's a 4-2, and only bigger guys can block it. And it comes back as a 5-3. I could probably see playing that, actually, as another... Uh, 
another big guy. They paid three life discard. Oh, the oh the black curse from uh from Hour of Devastation. I got you. I got you. My god, these red cards have been insane. I remember Shiv's Embrace from M14 where it was just absolutely broken. You're just like, well, kill you. This guy's actually pretty okay. Or he was. Actually, Riddle Form seems good in our deck now. I'll now I'll take a Riddle Form, sure. Not going to play you. This is also 25 cards, so you have to make some cuts. Probably cutting Golgari Charm. Uh, do you speak any other languages? I do not. I speak English and slang. Arc Trail. There's a lot of red cards in our sideboard. like skywise teachings as a as an engine here yeah even even a last pick Kelden champion even that's pretty good red was super open i i mean i'm happy with our deck i think it turned out really well but i don't know anything about this queue even though i thought i did so it's hard to say if this deck turned out well <sighs> What's going on, ladies? And oh, all right, hold on. I gotta respond to a comment because someone's someone's wrong on the internet. Um, we have to make one cut. I see Kieran. I found it to be unfortunately useless. <laughs> that is sad. So we get a DC. I had a Yargle with two lances on Sarah's wings, a Pegasus, a four bear blade. Huh. I hope you won that match because that is that is a powerful wizard.
Is it cut real form? I mean, the scry is good. The 2-2 is good. I would probably cut big game hunter first. It's not always relevant. We can board it in when it's relevant. But, like, we have a lot of spells. Like, it makes our late game signets uh, give some value. All right, let's sort by color. This deck is all over the place. Plus, Royal Form Trigger's Prowess. It does a lot of things. All right, so... 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 4, 5, 6. Hmm... So I opened a card in my last draft, pack three, went 0 3, jumped into another draft, and I put another card in pack two of this draft. Must be nice. Must be nice. Congrats, D Bosch. Five, six, seven. This is actually nine. Now it's eight sources of green. Three. I think we do want nine here. So this is so one, two, three. This is this breaks even. So one, two, three, four, five, four, five. There's five five black cards and blue cards. Um this is five, six, seven blue, three, four, five, six, seven black. So eight, nine, 14. Yeah, this is one too many though. One, two, three. I don't think it's eight, seven, seven. Like that doesn't seem good. Maybe it's fine though. Eight's probably plenty. No, I like nine. <laughs> it's good. Actually, both of our signets are green. So I think we can actually do eight. Yeah, that makes more sense actually. All right, let's do it. Keep. We're going to start with the black because then we can still go for the throw, but we can also keep up Baleful Strix if we draw that. All our little songs that he likes to shoot his guns. Okay, that's fine. I accept your crumbling necropolis. We do have Tron. We built Tron City on rocket and roll. Oh, do 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 do. Signet. Island is good too. I accept an island. If we could draw not lands, that'd be great. Never seen them before. Really having ever heard of them before you mentioned them on your stream. We was walked into work on Friday and parked in front of the office building. It was a pizza delivery car. Joking, and I saw it. I wonder if that's Hungry Howie's. Lo and behold, it was. Too funny. I was shocked that I didn't even know they had them in North Carolina. That's awesome. Wow. Hey, Frank. Been watching you on YouTube forever. Glad to catch you live. Hercule, Hercule, Herculean Roads. Thank you so much for saying so, buddy. I appreciate it. Man, that Hungry, hungry, hungry Howie story is gas. Just casual Hungry Howies. Huh. The old pre-combat Wall of Omens, post-combat True Heart Duelist. The classic. Okay, well, we're doing good here. Ethnomusicology is not the high-flying excitement the brochures make it out to be. Man, well, that's disappointing. I think we Urban Evolution before we Eldest Reborn, right? That seems good. I mean, they're just going to counter it, so I guess it doesn't matter. I don't actually care about this guy, right? I kind of do, actually. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. You don't. Restrain yourself. I want them to spend their mana this turn to embalm him, but I don't think that's happening. Oh, they're going to do something else instead. Mm. That guy I'll kill. 
This is great. This is great. Mm. Yeah, Hungry Howie's is fine. Don't be a don't be a pizza elitist. Do people even like Hungry Howie's? Yeah, Hungry Howie's is fine. It is tasty pizza, my friend. Don't be a snob. I I also like good New York style pizza, but I mean I'll eat Hungry Howie's because it's fine. Oh, we can get Urban Evolution back or Eldest Reborn back. <laughs> Being an elite, I just that's how it came across. Do people actually like Hungry Howie's? That seemed that seemed like an elitist comment. I mean, they're a business. Clearly, people like the pizza, right? Like they wouldn't be in business if no one liked the pizza. Huh. Oh, I see what you're doing here. I see what you're doing here. I don't like it, but I see it. I feel like I have to kill this guy. Post haste. So we two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can go three, four, five. God, do I really want to waste? I mean, if we all just are born, they're just gonna get rid of this, and this makes it even worse in the future. Oh, I actually don't think most. I don't think most people think Domino's is terrible. I think, I, I think, I think you hear it a lot because no one's talking about how just fine Domino's is. I have no problem with Windows. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll use this ability. Um, maybe we can actually play Mistfire Adept here. Oh, what's the Budweiser fallacy? That sounds like something I'd really enjoy hearing about. It sounds like where a lot of people think that everyone dislikes a thing. Uh, and then really not that many people actually dislike the thing. They just think everyone dislikes the thing because they, because of the loudest, the vocal minority. But the Budweiser fallacy is probably more like the brand recognition is so strong that it's really hard to, to break away. It's actually subpar, but it's hard to break away from that brand recognition. That's probably what it's like, actually. Dang it. I mean, like, don't, let's not confuse, like, let's not confuse there are better options for this, right? With it's actual terrible and not good. Those are two different things, right? If I have my choice, I'm probably not going to get Domino's. Does that mean when I eat it, I'm miserable and it's not good? No, I think those are two totally different things, but I think they're easy to confuse. Oh, it was actually right the first time. Oh, awesome. X craft beer is better than all mass produced beer is trash. Maybe so, but the average person loves regular beer. They want a lot of medium product for an average price. That's exactly right. You hear about people on the internet commenting, but that's because no one comments of all the, hey, I had I had Domino's. It was just fine. It was good. I enjoyed it. No one's going to say that on the internet. They're only going to complain about their bad. The, the vocal minority is the loudest thing you're going to hear. And if you're letting that affect your opinion of something, you should be more conscious of it, I think. Fight me, craft boys. <laughs> he said I just learned something. Oh, wait. Oh, do they think when a creature enters the battlefield, it may return to your own? Oh, you thought. <laughs> they, they thought it would return from the graveyard, which would have been insane. That card would not be fair if that happened.
Well, that's unfortunate. Yo, Billy. I actually had that Red White Wizards deck. That was the first deck I put together for uh, for Dominaria Standard because I was like, oh, I have most of these cards. And then I was like, oh, but wait. It hasn't been doing very well after that. And then I went 8-0 at the, the, the online pizza queue, and I was like, oh, dang. <laughs> Beer is how I found out I was an alcoholic, so I was <laughs> grateful. Oh, good lord. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. No. That's not what we're doing. Dance all night and I lose. No little man. Shake it up. I imagine they will sacrifice this wall of omens. That is the least exciting creature they have. You think this is modern, Billy? You think we're playing Misfire Adept in modern? Do you think True Heart Duelist is, is played in modern? How about Roller Maker and Two Signets? Billy, do you think Factor Fiction is legal in modern? Is that what you think? I'm really disappointed in you right now, sir. I love you, but I'm disappointed. No blocks. So okay, so what you're saying is you saw Elder, you saw Reflector Mage, and you saw Thundering Spineback, and those were the only two cards on the entire board that you were like, "That's all I need." The chat talked about food again for three hours. Yeah, it was rough. It was uh, it was a thing. They're really good at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That means next turn we can factor fiction and make a dino bro. Capture those dino bros. Those. I'm not going to attack here. They just double block. It's not good for us. Although I am getting slightly annoyed at Whirler Maker. Billy, I forgive you. I forgive you because love. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. No more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh my goodness gracious. They are the monarch now. Look at me. I am the monarch now. Oh, no, this isn't the monarch. Oh, it is the monarch. Until we become the monarch? Oh my god. I am uncomfortable. I am so uncomfortable right now. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, well. Target you. You're going to go flying a little guy what's gonna be a reclamation sage is a good card for magic the gathering 
Oh, this hand is juicy. So, if we can actually kill one of their Thopters, which we can just reality shift it, uh, we get to become the Monarch and we get to get our guy back from Palace Jailer. I want to wreck it. <laughs> I like your Wreck It Ralph reference there. That was a good Reclamation Sage Wreck It Ralph mashup. That's the last card I want. I will take the top pile 100% of the time. Still taking top. They have one card in hand. I think we have seven. Oh, yes. Choose a card to put in your hand. The toppity top. So what we're going to do is Curse of Shallow Graves. Okay, whenever a player attacks Enchanted Player, you. One, two, three. So this time, you're going to get the float. And then we're going to attack with both. And then we're going to exile one of your blockers. So that we get our Thunder back, we get our Monarch, we get to be the Monarch. I guess they get to be the Monarch after that, don't they? But I think that's okay. Give me that zombie boy. I will make a thing with a whirler maker. Yeah, that's fine. You got it. Relax. Enjoy. Are we dead here? No. No. Wait. Wait a minute. Get rid of you. You have a 2-2, two, two, a 2-2. Two, two. You have four. One, two, three, four. This guy's probably going to die. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. We go to three. That's pretty brutal. Oh, I guess we get our guy back, though. Give you flying now. That doesn't make any sense at all. Why would he do that? Yeah, this is not... It's not... A great play. It's the Monarch. Um, it's not a great play, but I do like that we get our guy back and we get to be the Monarch so we get to draw another card. So, I'll deal with it. They have one floating blocker. Also, that's a good trade because if we end up getting our Eldest Reborn back, we can get our Eternal Witness back. And we got our Dino back. I will draw a card. Sir, the zombie isn't even attacked. It will be. It will be. That was a... I'm not afraid. You will be. That's Yoda. Yeah, you, guys, you guys seen Star Wars? You guys see that Star Wars movie? Apparently they're making a... This is going to be a trilogy. Next one's called Empire Strikes Back, and the one after that's Return of the Jedi. Oh, no alpha. All right, feeling good. Feeling good in the neighborhood. Is that a jingle? Whose jingle is that? Nope, that ain't what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. This little guy is going to come down. He's going to kill your whirler maker because it's annoying. That's a terrible song. My songs are not on point today, guys. I really want to apologize. Usually, you guys deserve better. And I'm not providing. And that's my fault. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, please use the ability. Um, 
just attack with you, actually. That should be fine. Actually, what do you got? One flying blocker? I guess we can attack with both. I don't know why we did that. It doesn't doesn't matter this turn, but what can you do? So you and you make a zomboy. I mean, they're just going to get the monarch back, but I mean, as long as we can keep up and keep getting the monarch as well. No chat, no hey, no no mics today. They have two cards. Yes, I'll use this ability. If you haven't seen Solo yet, go do it like it was surprisingly. It was very good. I enjoyed it. I I went into solo with low to to average expectations. Uh and it delivered. I was like, this is very entertaining. I enjoyed this very much. I enjoyed the Easter eggs. I enjoyed the fan service. I enjoyed the characters. It it had most of the things I wanted in a in a movie like that. Yeah, if they attack with both flyers to get them on oh, that's actually insane. <laughs> that's probably gonna be the game. Wow, Whisper Silk Cloak, the card I was like, yeah, I don't know how I feel about it, is the card that ends up winning us the game. Who knew? Search your library for an aura or reveal it put in your hand. Okay, well, this could get... I wonder if they have On Sarah's Wings. God, please don't have On Sarah's Wings. Oh god, snoring dude. Don't, like don't go to the movie if you're that tired. Come on. Have some consideration for your fellow man. If they had Sarah's wings, they'd probably get it much quicker, right? Okay. 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 Oh, you put on the float, dude. Seems good. It still spells your doom. Oh. 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 Aggressive. I definitely got the Billy D. Williams Colt 45 joke. That was good. It was good. <laughs> Bringing your baby to Deadpool 2 is not where you want to be. In life, I think. In general, in life, you don't want to be in that position. Don't be bringing your baby to Deadpool. I think Slice and Twain definitely comes in here 100% of the time. You can take Riddle Form out. Almost time to bring Kurosan Grip in. Like, they had Ephemera's Enlightenment. They had two Signets. They had Whirler Form. Um, they had did, 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 did other things as well. Oblivion Ring. Golgari Charm is actually probably better, especially when they have Whirler, Whirler. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, that seems good. It gives you a little Richard. What are you saying right now? Oh, oh I get it. I get it. <laughs> that was good. Is little Richard still alive? Did little Richard die? Little Richard's 85 years old currently? Wow. That's crazy.
85 years old. What a time to be old, guys. Yeah, I didn't think he was alive. Apparently he's it seems like he's gone crazy though. There's all those articles that you that you that you'd expect to see about 85 year old people where you're like, oh, like the first thing, the first headline I saw was Little Richard once gay, now anti-gay, and I'm like, well, too bad, buddy. It's, yeah, he had a good run. Oh. So, we can play, we can keep up Rally Shift, or we can keep up Gold Gary Charm. It's probably better to keep up the Charm, I guess. I don't foresee us having to Rally Shift anything on turn two. Edifice is annoying, but we boarded in a bunch of good answers for cards like that, so. Dang it. Where my artifact removal at? Okay, you got it. Let's factor fiction here. Next time we can go Signet into Teamer Sabretooth if that's the best we have. Probably won't be though. Did you guys know Mama's Little Baby loves shortening bread? It's unbelievable. Okay. I'm on board. I'll trade. Yeah, give me them lands. What do we need? I need another green. And another Swampums. We already have eight cards in hand. So we're going to play three next turn, which leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six. But we do want factor fiction stuff here, so. I want—I really want to get rid of these things. Even if we draw two off factor. Actually, factor fiction also replaces itself, so that seems fine. So now we have seven. Curse is insane. Whisper Silk Cloak is insane. Don't care about the land. These are our two priorities, I think. Oh my god, give me the two priorities. Hilarious. Combo! Combo bones connected to the curse bone. The curse bone's connected to the cloak bone. I'll put this... This, this pile is definitely the hand pile. The old 11 card hand, a classic. Alright, so what are we playing here? We can play three cards, put us down to eight, and then we just have to discard one thing. That's pretty decent. What did they grab with this? Eph Ephemera's Enlightenment. Sure, that's fine. We're at 18.
Land. Play the stupid land. Stop being like this, Tina. Eat your ham. I mean, unfortunately, we didn't get any lands, any any cards that can deal with their enchant, their artifacts, but whatever. Whatever. We can deal with a farm, a, if, if Farah's Enlightenment with uh, the Gold Gary Charm, at least. Or we can just change this 2-5 into a 2-2 two -two forever. Mistar Adept did do work last game, but we have Bailoth Null in our hand right now. We didn't know that at the time, but now we do. So that's pretty cool. But also, so did both of these cards also did work. Also, with Shroud, this card does nothing. No blockerinos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Also, returning Baloth Null Infinity is pretty insane. We are one mana shy of casting both of these and equipping. Target you. Do 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 do. Stop this guy. Stop. All right. Good deal. Good deal. Cloak it up. I was playing my HP game. <laughs> I heard that water drop sound. When wonder when Snape started making that sound in the game. That's actually pretty hilarious. That is pretty hilarious. Oh, I can tell you when. Always. All right. I'm still good with this. It was a little Spanish fleet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can actually play this equip keep up both of these if we need them. In response, this is the last time you're going to get to use that, buddy. Use it well. So you keep up both of these? I mean, they're going to probably play Ephemera's Enlightenment next turn. Time for me to get off work. Thanks for the entertainment. Hey, Scorch Skid, thanks so much for hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow, buddy. Bailoth Null is also an option. The problem is if they put a thing, if they put this on here, we take six. And I don't really love that that clock. I would much rather make this guy terrible and make this guy worse. <laughs> Whatever that means. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. ah. we can actually just save six damage here if we do that.
Also, if they want to sacrifice this guy to flip this guy, that's fine because... I mean, then they don't get a 2-2 out of it, so... Deal. This team or Sabretooth is going to start doing some work, though. Well, that's a thing. All right, we're going to need something here. It's a start. It's a start. Let's get a Zombone. All right, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're not. They don't have lethal on board yet. One, two, three, four, five. We'll have five mana left over. Three, four, five. Urban Evolution. Thank you. Filk money, 11 months in a row. Almost made it one year. What are you getting me for our anniversary? Uh, well, that's a good question. I don't know. Oh, actually, we can Eternal Witness and get back Reality Shift. I am down for that. Wham, bam. E wit to reality shift. Is that correct? That's all we've got. It's all we can do. Oh, to keep waiting for you. Also, we can just bounce Eternal Witness, too, which is pretty insane. That's infinite. Infinite re infinite rebuys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. That's a good amount. Ah, the crisp, refreshing taste of seven up. He's the one who likes all our pretty. Also, Ridgegale Tusker with Curse of Shallow Graves is not terrible. If 7up wants to give me some free product, I will shill for them all day. All our pretty songs, and he likes to sing along, and he likes to shoot his gun, but he that's not what it means. Do, 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 do. I played this weekend and almost got my first ever online trophy. I had to share with you because my wife doesn't care at all. Folk money, I totally care. I am a I'm a fan. So we can take six here and bounce our eternal witness, but we have Bailoth and all, so we can just do that. One make seven of yours, book. <laughs> Kermit, I'm a fan of your existence, my friend. They have one card that isn't a Pharah's Enlightenment in hand. Hi, Frank. Hi, Mike. But there's no Mike here. It's literally just me. You can't say hi to people that are not here. I guess you can. I guess you, I can't stop you from doing that. I've been thinking, isn't feeding your baby straight short and incredibly unhealthy? Well, it's short and bread. Isn't that different? Other, other Ben's. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt Time Brood. Hey there, everyone. Hey, Mike. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I feel like I've actually created monsters within the chat. I don't know how to solve it. Are they going to sack this? What are they doing here? What's happening? Three mana's in the pool. Flicker Wisp. <gasps> Oh, they're just killing my zombie. Okay, that's fair. Mm. 
No. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten men. Okay. Okay. Give me that zomboy. Our hand is not great right now, unfortunately. A lot of expensive things. And we might be dead if, like, they, they have a... So this guy's... We can Golgari Charm to kill this. Um, and then we have blocks for everything else, I guess. They can't make a, a Thopter guy, a Thopter boy this turn. They can prevent us from blocking. We're going to turn no blocks. Um, we can go Baloth Null into Eternal Witness. Or Mistfire Adept. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, the Uncanny Valley comparison for Hearthstone and Arena seems really interesting because it's like you're expecting one thing, but it's actually different, which makes it even harder than it naturally would be to uh, to grasp, like to accept. And that makes a lot of sense, actually. I think it's got to be this guy into... Oh, they have a seal away. Interesting. We'll get Eternal Witness and Misfire Adept here. I guess they make both unable to block. We take two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we die. That seems bad. I imagine it's better to not die. So I'm just going to pass with Golgari Charm up. Oh, it's until your next turn, so actually they have to use it twice, which is fine. They also have four minutes to our nine minutes. Yeah, Dinosaur is huge, but it doesn't help us here, unfortunately. He's the one who likes all our pretty songs. That's annoying. But now we know that I'm playing Ephemera's Ephem Enlightenment. I cannot say that to save my life. We can also kill that. But then we might three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'd rather take six instead. Plus, we can go Gary Charm next term to get it back. Next term. Oh, they didn't attack with this guy. Okay, so we're even better shape. Take four. No, we get take less. We take like two. Mm. Mm. I also hit the mic with my 7-Up bottle, so apologies in advance for that, guys, but, you know, what are you going to do? I actually like lands here, with considering what our hand is. We can also bounce this guy infinite. Oh, that seems insane. Can I get a witness? Let's get back a Golgari charm. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So we can actually play S S S Thundering Spine back and keep up charm. Or we can play Ridge Scale Tusker. They're going to make that zombie unable to block, sure. We can play Ridge Scale Tuster, keep up Bounce, and keep up Golgari Charm. So that's pretty good. Apologies. Did I say apologies in advance for hitting this? <laughs> oh, streaming's hard, guys. Oh, man. Hopefully we're all having a good time. We're all just having a gas here. One, two, three, four, five... So now we're keeping up 
Do I have more green than I can use? I have two green total. Three green total. I need one green for this and one green for this and two green for this. So we definitely messed up with the greens. Actually, no, we didn't. We paid exactly what we needed. This turn, we need one, two, three, four, five, six green total. And we only have one, two, three, four, five. So we're fine. We didn't mess up. I guess it's just misfire add up. That seems fine. Yeah, that also actually gives us flight. That's actually insane. Uh, what would we need to double? What would we double charm for? That would like kill most of our board. It would kill all our zombies. It would kill this guy. Um. Bop -doo 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 -doo. Oh, that's a card I want to get rid of. Ah. Yeah, Tusker would be better. Tusker into double Golgari Charm is pretty okay. Um, That's actually fine. We just make this floaty guy. Yeah, this is actually pretty insane for us right now. Okay, maybe it's not insane, but it's good. It's good. Let's destroy the Time of Ice. Do we just win on the crackback here? Yep, alright. Well, it doesn't matter. Game still ends and we win the match arena. That's pretty good. Do 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 It was the best of times, it was the blurst of times. Wow, Spazio, that's pretty aggressive. Let's let's take it easy, buddy. Let's calm down a little bit. Brian, have a good afternoon, buddy. Beans and cornbread. I will play first. Beans and curwit. <laughs> That's funny. I'll keep this hand. It's real slow, but... Cooler Ob. Good game, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you actually did. I mean, like, your deck was seemed fine. Like, you were definitely applying the pressure. Oh, we should have led with Swamp. I just led with a, I just did a bad, a bad, bad. It's okay. We're not going to draw Baleful Strix. Hey, that's pretty good. Blue green feels like the best because it presents the biggest threats. It can present them quickly because of the ramp. And uh, it can draw you cards to refill those threats. It just does everything you want it to do. Thank you. Robot Red Robot, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Soul Tie Brood. I think we're back up to 300 now, maybe. That might have done it. Hard to say, though. Can we draw a four drop? 
Uh, well, Lorwyn's not a cube though, so I think we're we're talking about specifically cube. There's no blue green like tribes in Lorwyn, so that makes sense. This guy seems like he wants to get he wants to get thrown away into the trash can. Both of these creatures are pretty good though. I can't tell. Oh, it's it's. I think we're on three hundred. I think it just hasn't updated yet. This guy becomes a 4-1. This guy becomes a 4-4. Four, four. As much as I dislike this guy, this guy seems like the dude you want to hit. It's annoying. Something good. Not terrible. Do I just want a ridge scale tusker here? Just a random ridge scale tusker? I think we'd be fine with that. I think it's better than taking six here, so we'll play this guy. Bum ba dum ba dum Inspector Gadget Bum ba dum ba dum dum da hoo Why is he singing the Inspector Gadget song? Nobody knows. The archetypes in this cube are are really interesting. I don't actually know what they are yet. <laughs> um It's been fun figuring figuring them out though. Like it's very untrad it's like a it's not your traditional cube at all. Um, this is actually fine. I can't imagine you're attacking with... Oh, this is great. Go, Ganja, go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba One, two. So we need double black, blue, and three, two colorless. Oh no, don't be something I This guy's dead. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That guy doesn't have haste. Okay. I accept. Creature's getting menace is pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. Why would you lie about that? I don't know. I said I'm not going to though. Go to six. So we can play both of these guys. Double block here. I think we're dead. Yep, we have died. The red deck wins. Undrum Tuna, have a good afternoon, buddy. I'm like sitting on my back deck drinking beer and grilling some pork chops, some potatoes, all your friends and listening to sing to us. Fantastic. Fantastic. Negative one, negative one seems good when they have the... Uh... This guy also seems good. We saw at least two creatures that are big enough to kill. Um... Real form seems pretty slow. I got the cloak. I don't foresee us actually cloaking here. Oh, would you like to play first? Okay. Sure. I'll keep this in even though there's no black. Hunter's dreaming. It's pretty cute. Hmm. 
<laughs> Inspector Gadget. All right. Non blue green lands would be nice here. Yep, Slith Firewalker every game. One thousand percent block this guy. Another trade? I'll just trade all day. Then we'll eventually eternal witness and steal your guy back. Yeah, Helm of the Host on Ariel seems pretty good. You got it. Hey, that's pretty good. Two, three, Ewit, get back, Tuscard. Yes. Play Curse on you. And then we can next turn if we draw black, we can play Big Game Hunter on this. Do we have a way to discard? No. <laughs> Swamp please one time. Good lord. Please one swamp, please. Swamp, second land. One time. Oh, well, that's a black source. Alright, well, fingers crossed that we don't just... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Actually, we're really close to dead. Why does this have fire breathing too? Come on. I think we're just dead. That's insane. I told you, I told you Shiv and Embrace. Shiv's Embrace was insane. You guys didn't believe me. Oh yes, we should have taken back the sage. Significant advice against the the red deck. It's very very easy to say that after the fact. What are the odds they can deal one point to us? Pretty low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Unfortunate. I mean, I feel like a 2-3 is just better against the red deck than a 2-1 that kills an artifact or enchantment. I mean, that's just the truth of the matter for me. Can you just always yes? I mean, the Brett said if they have no burn, like, we could be in good shape here. No, it's not burn. Neither is that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have to have four blockers. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe five. Three, one, two, three, four. We can't actually play both of these still. That's annoying. You just play spine back. They probably can't deal with that. They have one card.
All right, so we have five blockers, which is actually pretty good. It means they have to have an answer. All right. That is not it. All right, all right. Staying alive, staying alive. Ha, 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 ha. So if we plus, we're definitely doing this first. It's gonna be a land. I'm doing this even though we get a zombie just because I want the guys to be bigger. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So presumably six blockers. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can attack with like three guys here. One, two, three. Actually, and they're forced to block, so we can actually attack with four. They have to block two things, right? Like, if we attack with everything, if they just block here, they take five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So they have to block two things. So we'll have three guys, we'll have four guys. If we alpha, do we just win? I don't think so. One, two, three, four. They have five blockers, they just go block here, they take six. Like, these are the only three guys they can let through. Once they let these through, they got to block all three of these, which means they have two guys left. A 2-2 two, two and a 2-1, presumably. Yeah, we don't trample. No one, no one thought we trampled. So they go block, block, block. They have these two left over. We have two blockers and a card. Uh, it definitely didn't feel best to create tokens. I guess we'll have to disagree. It's not best to create tokens because we can put two bodies on the board instead of one. One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't have we have seven mana, not not eight, so we can't make a guy and make a token. That's true. They can block and sack to kill Strix. That's a good point. So they go block here, sack to kill this guy. Leaves us with three blockers. So this is four blocks. And they can actually go six. They, they, have to, they still have to block two guys, right? So they'll have, they can go block, shoot. And then we have four blockers. And they block with another guy. But now they can only block. Now they still, yeah, we got to go two. Forces the double blocks. And then we get another Zombo. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, it's not best to create tokens because we're trying to get more guys on the board. We can play two guys or make one token. Like, it's, it's best to make tokens in the late game when you're way, way ahead. And you're trying to conserve your cards because you get to, you get to do something for free instead of wasting a card. Which is great. But we're just trying to amass bodies on the board because every draw step we give them is one closer to death. Oh, they might not see the... Uh... Okay. Alright, five blockers to... This is probably just like end of turn incinerate. Alright, well we didn't do anything. So close. <sighs> uh. 
Amazing. Uh, we didn't have answer. We didn't have the mana for Tusker and Tusker. We only had seven mana. We don't have eight mana. So. We don't have mana for Sabretooth either. I don't know what you guys are suggesting. Yes, there are there are things on the board. We could have Sabretooth if we only played this, but then you know we wouldn't have this on board to begin with. Sure. Yeah, we played Savage. We played Savage Lands that turn, so we only had access to seven mana. We can't do a three mana spell and a five mana spell. We only had seven. Otherwise, yes, that's an insane alpha. Please, alpha. This is a good curve. <laughs> Let's do this. <sighs> Lightning strike. No? All right. Lightning crashes and we'll know the dust. What are the odds this resolves? Zero percent. My opponent has to figure out which counter spell they want to use. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Bounce it. 1%? That was the percentage of it resolving, right? I think we broke... I think we... We, uh... Defied the odds there. Wow, I can't believe you heard that. You got you caught that, that, that live reference. Oh, and I feel it coming back again. Oh, snap. Oh, this guy died, though, so we get to draw a card. That's fantastic. What a counterspell to use, because now Death Reaper Chill triggers such gas. Oh, my God, this card is so busted, dude. I don't think there's that many cards in the cube either. There are many uh, counters in the cube either. Which, uh, Spazio, which was what card? This one? Discard two cards. This and this. Totally fine. Oh, 
Oh, the blue black one. It was uh, consigned to, to consigned to oblivion. The first one returns an online permanent. The next one just makes you discard two for five. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. That's a good amount. That's a good one. I'm going to reality shift that thing. He wakes up in the morning. Now I'm going to have... Now I'm going to have ants marching from under the table and dreaming. Yeah, draw your card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is this good? This feels good. People in every direction. Good lord. Double Urban Evolution with Death Reaper Chill on board. Woof. Laying under the table and dreaming. Take these. He's, he's, his voice is cracking. It's terrible. Oh, Jelly. It's your Jelly Boy. Oh, it's your Jess Guy Boy. I'm just going to raise by wolves this so that we have uh, Jelectrode insurance. So we're going to tap you. One, two. It's like it never happened. Oh, God. I was like, unless you have like a one red mana spell. Someone just commented on the YouTube video for those for those guys who were there when Robert was here and he was talking about how he uses Demo as demonic tutor. Like, oh, they demoed for that. And someone in the someone in the YouTube comments is like demoed, lol. I love how some people think they can make up words and then just say people are saying that now. Yeah, you are a person, so I guess you're not technically wrong, but I think you meant I am saying that now. So yeah, that's pretty funny. So I clipped that and sent it to Robert so he can he can be like, oh, I guess no one is actually saying that anywhere in the world. Are you shooting my wolf with your with your little Gelectrode? That's rude. What? My god. The value is so real right now. Goodbye, little wolves. They have another spell they even get to kill our eternal witness. My god. This is the most value I've ever seen. I'm here, I'm sitting here streaming with you guys for Memorial Day. Laying under the table and dreaming. How do they have more cards than us right now? I'm so confused. I guess we get to draw a card from this and we get to factor fiction. 
Okay. That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. We also have ten mana to their seven mana, so that's three cards accounted for right there. Let's take it. Yes. That should be like always yes, right? Beans and cornbread. I'm gonna probably take the eldest reborn. It's gonna go island signet eldest reborn, I bet. Cons and bean bread. Huh, I feel like this is exactly how I said it was going to be split. They have not confirmed yet. Oh, all right. Huh. <sighs> Meet me at the corner tomorrow night. Oh, look, the exact way. I said that it would be split. We have 13 cards left in our deck? Good lord. Actually, I might not want to do this because they have the stupid Jelectrode in play. It's got to be this guy or this guy, right? Yeah. Cinder Baron. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could just be Halgeist. The only card we really care about is Spaleful Strix. I would like a shallow, like a, a curse here, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> Amp, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. I really actually don't even want to yab my elder here because, good lord. Okay, there's a lot of lands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 lands, 12 lands. So there are 5 lands left in our 11 card deck. Ooh. Ooh. Might have to up the power level a little bit. Just you, huh? Deal. Oh, this is a spirit wolf, so it combos with raised by wolves? Oh my god. Wow. 
Wow. I'm at Hungry Howie's right now. I got a deep dish three cheese Howie bread with ranch flavored crust and a large deep dish bacon cheddar cheeseburger pizza with garlic herb flavored crust. That's amazing. That is amazing. Nothing died, right? That's unfortunate. Well, they got a discard now. Oh, I like Teamer Sabretooth Bouncing Eternal Witness. One, two, three, four. Bounce Eternal Witness, one, two, three, and kill your guy. That's actually pretty good. One, two, three, four. We don't need blue for anything we're doing here. This is also a cat, not a wolf. <laughs> so that doesn't actually aid to our raised by wolves. One, two, three to replay the witness. Yep, yep. Infinite go for the throats. This is pretty good. Even if they kill this, we still have... Um, uh, Eldest Reborn next turn. We can also just get River Will Aerialist back with Eldest Reborn, which is pretty good. Shoot my eternal witness. They gave me the highway bed for free when I told them about the drive and the reason behind it. Getting out of here for third. That's actually awesome, dude. Congrats. What kind of. I, I'm really curious as to the story you told them. Oh, they just went to... What did they... Wait, what did they shoot? Targeting me. That's a sap... That's a big boy. Interesting. We're at 14. Intriguing. Most intriguing. This is where they go shoot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Is this where they go shoot, fight with fire, shoot, attack? Put us to one, and then we just have to kill them before we untap. I mean, I'll do it. I'll get back my... Uh, I'll get back my go for the third again. I don't even care. Meet me at the corner tomorrow night. Okay, the old main phase kill that guy. Seems good. Kill this guy somehow. Two damage to a target. Deal. I told him about your love of it, my need to try it, and that is one of the closest. The lady at the counter thought it was pretty epic. I also had every open LGS on the way here. Picked up some cards I needed and some packs too. That's awesome, dude. That's a pretty sick Memorial Day, actually. That's a nice little trip there. I guess we'll take three. Because they can't block Howlgeist anyway. All right. Well, we get back, probably get back to Sabretooth here. That seems pretty good, but also so does Riverwheel Aerialists. Also, so does just Eternal Witness to get back go for the throat again. Oh, where's our Golgari charm when we need it? Yes. 
I don't think it's in our main deck, so I'm not going to keep my fingers crossed here. Actually, can we just win with this guy somehow? Uh, four, if we get back raised by wolves, it's real close, isn't it? So we get Eternal Witness back, and then we have... Oh, they're at 10. How do we deal an extra point here? Four. And then it gets plus three, plus three for the wolves, so that's seven. I don't think that does it. That does not do it. Is it Misfire Adept? This is actually a tough choice. Um, is anything in our graveyard better? I don't think so. Sabretooth is good, but I don't think it's going to win us any games. I think it's actually Eternal Witness to get back whatever. Riverwell Airless doesn't really matter that much now. I think it's just Eternal Witness. We get back um, Raised by Wolves, and then we also play the Wolves, because then it's like a two-turn clock. Yeah, this seems good. So, we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, raised on you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we can also still play... We can also still play Baleful Strix. Not if we do it like this, though. Let's do it correctly. One, two, equip you. One, two, Baleful Strix. All right. They have to win this turn. They have three attackers that we can't block. And a Gelectrode and one card. I don't think they actually have it. I don't think there's any two cards really that could do it. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Land and fight with fire would do it, but I have my doubts. Electro to the face. Okay, well that's that's a start. Not getting rid of our blockers or our creatures is a little scary. Why'd you have to be so rude? I'm gonna matter out anyway. Four to the face. This is five to the face. Six, seven, eight to the face. Okay, they have one card. We're five. Oh, you got a Geist Blast in the graveyard. Oh, that's bonkers. Yep, that'll do. Yep, all right, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick, and I'll be right back.
Oh, I thought we would have died, but apparently we have to choose blockers. So, we'll block here. My bad. Alright, so Golgari Charm definitely comes in, for obvious reasons. We have two ways to just splash an arc trail, which is actually pretty good. Um... Didn't actually see many things to hit with Reclamation Sage. Take that out. I'm actually tempted to bring in uh, Skywise Teachings. That could be a good engine. We have a good amount of spells. Seems like one card out here. I don't know if Eldest Reborn was great. They seem like they have a lot of tokens. Maybe actually, maybe they don't. Hmm. I think I missed Fire Adept. Maybe not. Yeah, we'll take out Elders Reborn. I think that's fine. I will play first. We also have, despite the fact that we let our opponents sit there, we still have two minutes more on the clock, so I'm not really too concerned with it. Play Grove, Vivid Grove into Whisper Silk Cloakery now. Oh, that is a that's pretty good. <laughs> sure, you got it. Two for ones do seem pretty good in this cube. No joke. <laughs> okay. Yep. Third time's a charm for this Yavimai Elder. Yeah, 
Wow, that's a good one. That is a good one. That's also a good one. Oh, that was a good draw. Never didn't have it. E-Witness next turn, keeping up the ability to bounce is pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. So we're going to do this. Kill these guys. One, two, three, four, five mana. So we can Eternal Witness to get back, like, Teamer Sabertooth. Or we can just play this guy, which seems better here. Try an ambush? What do you mean? I don't understand what you're saying here. It's actually fine. Sphinx's Revelation? Oh, Jace's Ingenuity. Okay. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could just play Howl Geist here, or we could play Skywise Teachings uh, and just... Actually, we can play Skywise Teaching Eternal Witness and get something back. Seems pretty good. I think I just want Howl Geist here, though. Thank you. Daddy Cube, thank you so much for the five months in a row. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Well, if we jump the adept, the problem is it's getting negative two, negative one, negative one, just like everything else on board. 
So it's a 2-2. Two, two. Uh, this is a 1-1. One, one. So if we ambush, they just shoot it with the Jelextrode, and then we don't get to block. So that, like, doesn't work at all. Also, if they have one other spell, which they did, they can actually stoke the flames our face, untap the Jelextrode, and deal the two damage to the Mistfire Adept, killing our Mistfire Adept. So... In no way does that does that go the way we want it to. And that was before the Stokey was even in, in the equation. Just can't be Ah, <laughs> fantastic. Wow, just fantastic. Okay, so I had this guy and they killed it with this. Uh, I had Teamer Sabretooth. They killed it with this. I had the Howl. They killed it with this. Okay, so basically everything is dying. Land, not a land. Okay, doing doing good. Doing good. Just, just wonderful. I mean, the prowess lets it live against one shot from the Jelectrode, but if they play any other, any spell, any spell, any one spell, it takes we, it takes one from the Muldrifter, one from the Jelectrode naturally, and one from whatever spell they played. So it doesn't actually have to be Stoke; it could be anything. Yeah, exactly. It just doesn't seem like it's. I mean, we're like really creeping our fingers crossed. I think we're just gonna play Real Form. It doesn't do anything, though. Two, three. Sure, draw your card. Two, three. Do you just get Sabretooth back here? That actually seems better. All right, that was pretty good. What up, Tukil? You got it. Uh, I like the Uncommon Cube a lot. I just uh, have not been doing very well with it. So there's that. Yeah, now we hit a land. Two, three, four. I guess we can scry next turn or this turn or some turn. Well, they have four cards in hand again, so that's unfortunate. Sure. Okay, this is two damage. Oh, you're going to Geist to... Yeah, of course you are to draw two more cards. Sure, seems good. 
<sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yep, you got it. Oh, well, that's interesting. Huh. Well, I'll be. I will block your Jeskai Elder 1,000% of the time. Yeah, I don't really feel too bad for you. Sorry about your luck. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't get to draw two cards and kill my... No, I don't think that was a glitch. I think they just misclicked. Yep, keep you. <laughs> Ewit and Sabretooth again. Sure. We will go to seven, and Stoke is already in the graveyard, so is Electrolyze, which is nice. Go to seven. Maverick Thopterist, perhaps? Oh. Ewit Golgari Charm. Seems good. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not there yet. Although we can just bounce this guy, get the eternal witness back. This all involves surviving. So one, two. We'll play signet because we're actually pretty mana starved here. One, two, signet. Yeah, I was yield. That's fine. They have one dude on the ground. This seems fine. Sure. That was actually bad because we could have riddle formed and blocked. I didn't actually think about that because I was I was actually looking at the clock. They we have two minutes more than them, but that's not a ton. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Can't do all of these things. We do take three next turn. We're actually getting close to death, which is unfortunate. I don't want to die. Well, I don't wanna die. Um Looking for answers here. It's a good one. That is a good one. Not attacking here. We'll just keep up factor fiction. Sure.
cheesy neek. I have no idea if there's a there's like a new player room, but I don't know how effective it is. <laughs> oh, that's comical. Sure, I'll take this one. This is actually four damage, so it means we're actually dead to both of these. I think we actually have to let them draw the card just to... If we block here, what do we take? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't like this any at all. This is not good. I can't envision a situation where we win here, unfortunately. These two are just too strong. I think we're at one, actually. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, dang it. What up, Jordan? Two floating blockers is what we need. So we have one here, but we have to actually be able to trigger it on their turn. I don't think we can do that. So we have to actually play this guy first. One land, I think, keeps us alive. <laughs> sure. <laughs> what a joke. All right, another sweet one-two in the uncommon cube. I like the cube a lot. I just don't like how the matches play out for some reason. It just seems very weird. I don't... It seems very hard to win. I don't understand... Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm building dirtily decks, but, like, I think the fixing is kind of a trap where they're, like, forcing you to go into multiple colors, but, like, the... <sighs> I don't know. I'm having a hard time processing these cubes in the decks that we're building. I don't know. Maybe it's... Maybe it's me. I have a feeling it's me. But, um... Yeah, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Really appreciate the, the the support. Thank you so much for hanging out. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out my Patreon page. Please check out my Patreon page. And a little as a dollar a month gets you cool access to things. And I'll see you guys next time.